And Nick, this is a $10,000 game of Madden. I'm excited for this one. Let's go. Shout out to everybody in Twitch chat and on YouTube for joining us today. As Wesley will start off with the ball first in this quarterfinal matchup, the race to the Madden Bowl. Look at this. It is win or get in. The stakes are never higher than this game right here. It's not just about the Madden Challenge, Nick. This is a win and get into the Madden Bowl. It, it, it gives yourself another uh, pocket of money later in the year. It's huge implications in this game. You can see Deliverance and Wesley facing off right now. You know, listen, it's a $10,000 game of Madden TD. 200 MCS points, but how about the pressure of knowing that if you don't win this game, your future for the Madden Bowl is in question? Yeah, it really is. You know, you still have a chance, but it gets really scary. You got to rely on some other things. You don't want to be in that position. You definitely want to win this game. Well, we get to see Wesley at work on offense, and generally the other night, TD, and Wesley was trying to sell us on he's a balanced player, but he is known for his high-powered air it out offense. Oh yeah, for sure. He had the best offense on the whole ladder, man. This guy loves to air it out, as you see here. He's got Derek Carr in this gun bunch. We've seen plenty of the bunch from Wesley as Derek Carr, the current Oakland Raider at the helm. And then drop back to Pats on first and 10. All sorts of time with that three-man rush. He can set up a tent back there if he wants. Outside of the pocket, he'll chuck it into the first row. I think a great note for this game, Nick, as we saw in that first play, is, you know, Deliverance, he doesn't do, a, like, a lot of stuff. Like, he just, he plays kind of basic, but he doesn't want you to do anything over the top. He doesn't, he doesn't let anyone beat him. And Wesley is known to be a little wild, so that's an intriguing thing to watch in this matchup. Splits cooks out of that bunch. Derek Carr driving back on the right side. That's Kellen Winslow with the catch to the 30-yard line. Give him six. Yeah, see, that's Deliverance how he likes to play. He'll give up those five-yard routes, you know, make you move down the field slowly. And Wesley, you know, he can get impatient at times, but he takes his nice five-yard out route there. Nice play by Wesley. Wesley seems to thrive in this format. Made the quarterfinals twice before. He lost to VY Electrify last year, 23-6, to and then... Back in Madden 17, he lost a Beast Mode Mac 24-22. He's never made it past the quarters, looking to do it for the first time here in Madden 20. Third down of four. Carr, some heat up the middle. Looks to that curl route on the outside. You want to talk about a route that I think has been the staple here in the Madden Challenge in Mutt Draft Mode. It's been the curl and the hitch on the outside. That backside curl has been huge for all these competitors. He has a post on the bunch side coming the other way. Throws the backside hitch one-on-one. -on -one. He'll take it all day long. Car dropping back on first down. Waiting. Some pressure from Joseph. He resisted the pressure. He threw it on the run and delivered a strike down the field. Yeah, Wesley threw it on the run there. He had the guy wide open, but he was in a tough predicament with his quarterback, but he able to get it off with that Derek Carr. Huge completion for Wesley. He's cashed in five of the last six EA majors. Wesley, one of those pillars of consistency here in competitive Madden. Big shout out to the Twitch chat and the YouTube chat out there for hanging with us. ESPN app today. What a day of Madden. He's looking for Hill over the top. Can he get it there? Drop it in the bucket, but Hill can't get two feet inbounds. Oh, so close to an early lead. Yeah, he threw it about a second or two too late, and it, fought, it cost him, you know, he's out of bounds right there. Look for him to go to this halfback wheel route on this play. Got Raheem Mostert out there. He'll be playing tomorrow in the Super Bowl. He throws it to Cooks. A little flat curl route to the 28-yard line. Not a whole lot there. Third and nine. Yeah, we've seen that play a lot from our pro competitors out here. That mesh spot play. This, this double wheel route from the tight end and the running back. He goes, he motions out that flat route with the receiver. Throws a nice little quick pass, but he's not able to get much yardage after the catch. Wesley so close to winning Group D yesterday. That group of death with himself and Kiv, K-Mac, and Ghost. So just to find yourself in the quarterfinals is a task in itself. It's Carr on third and nine. Looking for Cooks, got him in the end zone. Give it to him. Put six on the board for the former Joe Rice. A super hot dot from Wesley. Runs that verticals play. He had a uh, out route underneath it. The wheel route got wide open in the quarter of the end zone. Phenomenal drive to start the game for Wesley. Couple times, face the third down. He said, no problem, I got this. As the kick is away and we'll get to see the Pittsburgh Steelers club champion, the Pittsburgh Knights representative, Deliverance, come out of offense for the first time. This is just a great route combination, TD. 
Oh, just phenomenal. That that out route brought down the flat zones. The wheel route was able to get wide open in the end zone. Just a great play set up by stop. young Wesley. Yeah, and TD, that first drive, being able to score, how much pressure does that take off of you going forward? Yeah, when you're an offensive player like Wesley, I think you like sometimes to get the ball first, go down the field, start up 7 nothing. Now you get all the momentum. Well, Wesley, as you saw, he's not afraid to throw the ball. On the flip side for Deliverance, a complete clash of styles. He's going to be in that strong eye looking to run the ball. Yeah, Deliverance is a very conservative player. He does not like to make a lot of mistakes. He's going to be in that strong close, using that Corey Dillon with a lot of hatback dives. The key to Deliverance is can he pass the ball good enough to get the job done? That's been his one, you know, kind of weakness. We'll see what he can do. It's Deliverance's first time in a non-club championship major final. He's dominated that salary cap mode in Pittsburgh, but he's been looking to break through in other majors. This is a great start. Yeah, it is. Making this Elite Eight is very difficult to do just to get here so hard. So he's done a phenomenal job. And if he wins this game, Nick, he's in the Madden Bowl, a, a goal he set at the beginning of the year. Yeah, the first time he'll be able to head out for the Madden Bowl and claim that final major. He's got to get past Wesley. Which is easier said than done. Nick, I want to point out, Wesley, you know, he didn't win his group yesterday, but he was excited because he felt that he had the easiest road now to the Final Four. He thought his games with JD and Deliverance, you know, were relatively easy compared to the field. And I think Deliverance knows that. Let's see how he reacts to it. I think watching Group C yesterday, the unknown group, I think they proved a lot. There's a lot of talent in that Group C that, you know, just because they're not household names, I mean, I think they show that they are way tougher than we gave him credit for. Yeah, I think Noah really, you know, he's catching people off guard, but a lot of people know how talented Noah is. And, you know, he, he's made a run so far. Looking to see how he does later on versus Young Kiv. Well, Deliverance his first crack on offense, the legend Joe Montana at quarterback. He's got some nice wide receivers out there. You're not going to see him used a whole lot, but... He'll hand it to Corey Dillon. This you are going to see a whole lot as Dillon gets to the outside and picks up seven. Yeah, these RPO bubble screens have been a staple for Deliverance's offense this whole tournament. He goes to it there. Looks like he might have had the bubble as well, but he goes with the stretch. Nice pickup on first down from Corey Dillon. His RPO is such a, a worthwhile addition to Madden NFL 20. Really opening up the playbooks, not only for competitive players, but for you know, players like me. Players who misread the RPO all the time. These guys, they don't misread that RPO too often. No, they don't. And nice little hat-back dive right there out of that strong close. If you're Wesley, you got to find an answer for that. You can't keep giving up big gains like that on all these run plays that Deliver wants, Deliverance wants to do. And credit to Wesley. For a guy who's known as sort of an offensive mind, you know, we see so often in tournaments, he's in those like 49-42 games. His defense was solid yesterday. He was able to hold Kiv to 10 points, which is not an easy task. Really buckled down when he needed to. Yeah, he played phenomenal defense. He forced Kibb to throw three or four picks. You never see that. Wesley, that's been his one flaws defense, and he's played great so far. Oh, looking for the bubble screen. Nice click on with Bates to bring him down for a loss of one. Yeah, that was a little bit of a scary throw right there from Deliverance. Wesley was all over it. Nice defense. Worst part about that is if he picks that off, there's no one catching him. There's just nobody to stop the interception return. Pretty happy to only lose one on the play. In the one minute mark in the first quarter, Montana dropping back to pass on second and 11. Looking left side, that's Let's double go. coverage. And Wesley says, thank you very much. Williams with the pick, he's up going the other way. Nick, this is what I don't understand. Deliverance, has his first two plays ran the ball perfectly. Moved down the field, and then all of a sudden he decides to get pass heavy. Just a terrible game plan. I don't know why he would do that. And just an easy pick for Wesley right there. If there's one person you don't want to be behind on the possession clock, it's against Wesley who can score so quickly and every time. Yeah, just stick to what you're doing that's working. I don't know why Deliverance decided to go to the air. You know that's not his specialty. Very confused by that. Toss play to Mostert. He's got room inside the 50, 40, 35. It's going to be James Bradbury with the tackle. Wesley said, I'm not just a passer. I got some run plays. Yeah, we saw Wesley running that single back bunch toss yesterday. He sees Deliverance pinching his linebackers in that 3-4. Has all the space to the outside. Great play by Wesley. Just like that, Wes is in business. The 31-yard line. He's in that gun bunch one more time. You get all the players in the box for Deliverance. A bit of a risky play considering who he's playing against. Carr stepping up. 
Backing up, taking a shot. Oh, I've God. seen this one more time. That's Come not an on. instant replay. Brandon Cooks into the end zone. Same play as the first touchdown. Goes to that verticals wheel route, delivering, staying in that cover two. And Wesley's reading that all day long. Wesley's saying, if you're going to give this to me every time, I'm going to take it every time, deliverance. Find a defense to stop it. Yeah, two oh wheel routes, God. two touchdowns. And deliverance, you can see, is very frustrated right now. He's got to have to bounce back on this drive. Two drives for Wesley, two touchdowns. So look at this one more time. Just a simple wheel route gets over the top. The safety, no help. Yeah, Wesley, Wesley just very patient right there. Waited for that wheel route to get by the cloud. Throws in the corner of the end zone. Looks just like the first touchdown we saw. I think I only saw, it was basically two deep routes and a flat route out there. Like, it wasn't, we weren't talking about five routes being sent out of that gun bunch. As what sort of answer does Deliverance had? He tried to throw it. Two passes so far. One went for negative one yards, one went the other way. Corey Dillon takes the carry up in the middle. Maybe, maybe gets two. Yeah, this is what I want to see from Deliverance. Stick to that run game. That's what got you here. We had there was a, He only got two yards in that play, but there was a little seam right there. We saw in that, the first two plays of the first drive, Wesley's run defense was not great. I want to see Deliverance stick to his game plan, stick to the run game. We've reached the end of one here in our first quarter final here today at the Madden Challenge. It is Wesley so far in control of 14 to nothing. Let's see what deliverance comes out. He's in the shotgun, something he doesn't do a lot. It's Montana. Drop back. Yeah, I think he's going to go to the inside zone here. He's got the numbers up the middle. Going to flip the play. I like this call right here. Let's see. George Kittle has been so big for Deliverance throughout group play. Brown in motion, hands it to Dillon. He's got some room, had the numbers up the middle, picks up a first down, give him 11. Yeah, great play call right there. He saw, you know, Wesley in that 1-4-6, just not, doesn't have a lot in the middle unless you're blitzing, and Deliverance takes advantage for a nice first down. TD, do you think any of this, is there any factor in the fact that Deliverance has played one less game than Wesley. He's basically been sitting here since the end of Group C, middle of the afternoon yesterday. Yeah, that could be it. I mean, Wesley has that momentum, you know, gotten a little streak right there yesterday, won that wild card game. And Deliverance coming out cold to start the game. 14 to nothing, and the list of quarterfinals coming up. It's a who's who of great Madden players. Crush taking on Clef, Noah, and Kiv. And then how about that? Final quarter final, just Henry and Joe. I mean, that's not a bad matchup to end the quarter final round with. Yeah, two of the biggest favorites in this tournament facing off in the Elite Eight. Can't wait for that one. Three wide receivers out there. Four deliverance on the 46 yard line. Hands it to Dill, little stretch run. Nice play. Smith up the middle. Roquan Smith, the Chicago Bear, an absolute beast in Ultimate Team. Yeah, Roquan Smith, one of the best cards. Wesley, you know, used him great yesterday. We saw that big pick on the sideline. First Kiv with that Roquan Smith. And here we go, big third and six for Deliverance. What does Deliverance have dialed up here on a third and medium? Looks like he's setting up to throw the ball out of this strong close. Does have a nice wide receiver out there on the left side. Hollywood Brown, the burner. Five-man rush. Just Gets Mar there. Green. Gets there. Green. Down goes Montana. And Deliverance looking for answers on offense. That was just great defense by Wesley. He covered the flats so well. He knew Deliverance wanted to go to the flats on a wheel route. And Wesley was all over it. Forced him to go to the middle, and he used it everything. Just great defense. TD, is there any worse feeling than punting back to your opponent already down two scores with time to go? Yeah, that's rough, man. You know, you really want to get something going on offense. It's not That's not Deliverance's strength, though. You know, he prefers to be on defense and manage the game. So, you know, he's going to trust in his defense, but he's got to get a big play on defense, got to get a stop. Raheem Moster dotting the eye for Wesley. Stretcher on left side, trying to find oh. some room, and he sure found it. Come oh, on, a little Moster. stop and Come go, on. and there he goes. Mostert inside the 20-yard line, looking like a matador oh, out there. Yeah, great stick work oh, by Wesley with that Raheem Mostert, little stop and go action. Man, big run play and deliverance. He's in trouble. Ridiculous. Really going to come up here and just not even show up. He's begging his defense to make a play, but Wesley's showing off the stick work. Nearing the two-minute warning in the first half. It's been all Wesley, and it doesn't appear to be slowing down. 
Hill with the carry. Sliding through the A-gap, down to the 11 yard line, give him eight on first. Yeah, running with that base card, Brian Hill, you know, not a high overall, but he's able to pick up eight yards on the play. And Deliverance is in trouble right now. He's gotta, he's gotta stand up for himself, he's gotta make a play. 22-year-old Wesley Gittens from Taylorsville, Georgia. Population of Taylorsville, Georgia, TD, 215. There are more people in this studio than there are back home. <laughs> Hand off, Moster, give him a first down. Yeah, and if you're Wesley here, you want to utilize as much clock as possible. Even if you have to kick a field goal, going up 17-0 at half, three possessions is huge. Point differential, such a big part of group play. As you get to single elimination, it doesn't matter. Just win. That's all you need to do. You play to win the game, in the words of Herm Edwards. First and goal. As you can see, Wesley using all that clock. Doesn't want to give Deliverance a chance at the end of the first half. Stretcher on Mostert outside. Got good blocking. Oh, when it's that easy, you start to wonder how good is Wesley Gittens? Yeah, just, it's just easy for him right now. I don't like the way Deliverance is playing defense. He's running that 3-4 pinch. Wesley has to stretch the outside all day long, and he's utilizing that with Raheem Mostert. Met up with Wesley yesterday after his... Uh, his, his final game and man you you pick his brain he is one of the smartest players here at the Madden Challenge we take a look at our Snickers replay you see it down in the bottom left hand corner absolutely sticky Woo. that was nasty right there that stop and go just great stick work and that's what you see with Wesley man he's a full-time two esport athlete deliverance full-time psychologist and the psychologist has got to get something going on this drive Locked to the outside, Corey Dillon nowhere to go, he'll lose five. 28 year old from Naples, Florida. So former division three quarterback and wide receiver at Knox College in Illinois. He's sitting there going, I'm down 21 nothing, can I put myself in the game? Cause I'll go out there and sling the rock a little bit. Second and 15, look to the flat, Corey Dillon makes the catch, but he's gonna need to be picking up more than three yard chunks. Yeah, this is that time where you can't panic if you're Deliverance. You know, that will really cost you. You're down 21 nothing. You've got to stay mentally focused here. You've got to get some points on the board. You've got to keep yourself in the game. Third down and 13. Hollywood Brown in motion. Montana dropping back. Three-man rush from Wes. He's got a man open over the middle. Oh, Wes got to be sitting there going, I, I dropped eight into coverage and George Kittle's all alone. Yeah, great play call right there by, by Deliverance, though. He had that crossing route, and then he had a backside deep dig route. Uh, Wesley decides to use her, the crosser, and he hits the dig route for a nice play. You gotta get out of bounds now if you're Deliverance. Look for a corner out here. You gotta get to the sidelines. He needs any sort of point. I mean, he needs a touchdown, but any points to stop the bleeding. 21 nothing. All Wesley here in our first quarter final of the day. So happy to have you along with us. Nick Mazesco, Tyler Davis, the entire EA crew. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us for the last three days. So much Madden action as that's Hollywood Brown to the 48 yard line. Timeout taken, only four seconds on the clock. Yeah, not good enough for field goal range. He's gonna have to take a shot at the end zone here. You know, look for him to throw, you know, three streaks, maybe a, a deep post into the end zone. Talk about a way that can boost your confidence. Something that can get you on the right track would be a miracle touchdown here at the end as he's gonna chug it up. Four white jerseys. And they bat this one away. We have hit halftime here in quarterfinal number one. If you're a fan of Wesley Gittens, he is on a roll up 21 to nothing. Let's check in with James Coe. What's going on, James? Nick Mazesco, thank you so much. Start your championship run in Madden Mobile. Play Super Bowl events and earn your favorite players from Super Bowl. Uh, the Super Bowl coming up like Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, George Kittle, Richard Sherman, and more. All right, before we head back to the game, though, we had both Deliverance and Wesley wired up for sound. Take a listen. Die! Come on! It's going to stop. Ridiculous. Really going to come up here and just not even show up. Man. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, come on, come on. You get ball at half, you get ball at half. Score and get the ball at half, come on. Score and get the ball at half, come on. 
can't let those games. We are back, 21 to nothing. And they had them mic'd up. There's some loud guy in the background, like really messing up the sound. <laughs> yeah, who is that guy? I don't know. He just yells a lot. I think he's 30 years old now. Yeah. That was a sad, that was a sad wake up. I was like, oh, I'm out of my 20s. <laughs> Well, Deliverance's first drive of the second half, TD, safe to say, needs to score here, not just to stay in the game, but just to get some confidence going. Yeah, he's really, you can tell in his face, his confidence, the way he's been talking to himself is just not there. You know, he's got to get something going, and it's got to be on this drive. Uh, not quite the way you wanted to start out. We'll only pick up one on the ground. Deliverance career 35 and 10 in the MCS. Coming into this tournament, we're going to get a couple more wins. He wants to solidify that spot in the Madden Bowl. It is win and get in here in this quarterfinal matchup. Grant in motion as Montana drops back. He's got the wheel route all sorts of open, but he throws it to the covered. Grant picks up three. Yeah, just a bad read right there. Wesley in that edge blitz, but he's making a ton of adjustments. He keeps manning up uh, the, the hatbacks out of the backfield so the deliverance can't go to the flats. Look for him to bring the heat right here on this play. Deliverance got to make a decision quick. Yeah, Wesley's defense has been stifling to say the least. Montana dropping back, four-man rush. He's got the slant across the field. That is Grant out of bounds on the 38-yard line, finally into enemy territory and picked up a key third down. Yeah, great play. Really stressed the user of Wesley there. He has that speed with Jakeem Grant. Gets a big play, and Deliverance needed it. There's Corey Dillon, right side. It's crazy, TD, because Deliverance coming into this game. You know, top five rushing offense. It's been Wesley's rushing offense, though, that's been the difference maker. Yeah, it has. Deliverance run defense has not been great. And I don't think Deliverance expected Wesley to come out running the ball. He probably prepared for that gun bunch. And Wesley said, OK, I'm going to come out in this I form tight and run stretch until you can stop it. It is a chess match here in professional Madden. Second and six. Gurley trying to find some room. It is tough to find room when you got big, bad Geno Atkins on the defensive line. Yeah, it does. Wesley has a nice defense back there. And now we got a third and three. You got to think Deliverance has got to get some tempo going here. The clock is running really out. You want to get points on the board before the fourth quarter for sure. Down 21 nothing, trying to stay alive in this quarterfinal matchup. Alshon Jeffrey in motion. Stacked on top of Hollywood Brown on the left side. He's using this entire play clock as the game clock starts to bleed. It's a tough three yards. Looks like he picked up the first down with Corey Dillon, but this offense just doesn't feel very fluid. No, it doesn't, and that's not the way Deliverance likes to play. You know, he's never going to be that high-powered air attack, but he needs to, you know, find something here. Hatback dive just doesn't seem to be doing it. As up, I say that... Up, he's breaking tackles inside the 10. TD, stop talking, man. Deliverance knows what he's doing. It's all good. <laughs> well, that's what he needs to do. He needs to break tackles or something because, you know, this, this third quarter is running out on him. We're down under a minute 45 in the third. But the most promising drive of Deliverance's offense today. Back into that strong eye close. He'll drop back to pass with Montana. Good coverage downfield. No one's there. He'll have to throw this one away. TD, as a competitive player, how tough is it to come back and play after a full night's sleep? You know, in group play, you just get to sort of rattle off the games. Yeah, you do. You know, it's, it's nice in group play because you get the momentum going. You play better as your second and third games come along. So, you know, having a day off and a break, it's a little tough, you know, all this time off. But, you know, this is a game of Madden. You've got to focus. You've got to be ready all the time. Saturday, we get to hand out the Madden Challenge belt. Sunday, the NFL hands out the Vince Lombardi Trophy. What a weekend of both virtual and professional football. Third and nine. Montana, quick throw. Come Up the on, seam. Grant can't hold on to it. And Deliverance. Begging for some help. Make a catch. Yeah, Deliverance Give me a begging little for DDA. something. Yeah, I gonna come back. Jeez. Begging for help. You know. Nice play right there, just couldn't hang on. That Jakeem Grant, you know, obviously not a, a possession type receiver, not going to make those, those catches in traffic. And this is the game right here, pretty much for Deliverance. You've got to get in the end zone on this fourth and nine. You can't turn the ball over down by three scores near the fourth quarter. 
They'll empty out the backfield. Corey Dillon to the right side. George Kittle on the right side as well. Montana dropping back. Three-man rush from Wesley. Waiting, looking for Hollywood Brown. He makes the catch to keep oh, Deliverance little, alive. Finally bit. getting a touchdown. Terrific dot to keep his hopes alive. Throws that slant route really late. Nice possession catch, and he's back in the game. He's fighting for his life, and I love to see it. 11 plays, 68 yards, takes four minutes off the clock. But most importantly, it keeps Deliverance in this win and get in the Madden Bowl game. Yeah, he's got to find some I-form run defense here. That stretch where Raheem Mosher has been killing him all game. He's got to step it up. Problem is, now Deliverance has to find a way to stop Wesley twice. And that is something he has not done yet today. We still got a game, folks. 21-7. Hand off to Mostert, right side, nowhere to go. All right, good start. Five carries, 106 for Raheem Mostert. Yeah, great run defense right there, though. Wesley tried to motion him over and flip the play so he get the numbers on the opposite side, but Deliverance saw it coming, played great defense versus it, and forcing Wesley to get back in this gun bunch now. Wesley will get to run one play before the end of the third quarter. Second and 14. Carr dropping back, looking left side. That's Irvin with the catch. Good tackle by Moreau. Wesley has just been an absolutely diabolical offensive player. Put your fours up in the chat. It is 21 to seven as we head into the fourth quarter presented by Snickers. I dig because suddenly people think it's okay to talk on speakerphone in public. What was that? Oh, nothing. Just some lady digging a giant hole. Digging a huge hole. This game far from over, TD. That touchdown before the half for Deliverance was clutch, and now he's got Wesley in a third and 11. Yeah, he does. Biggest play of the, of the game right now. You know, Deliverance has got to get off the field and he's back in this game, but he's got to do it on this play. You want to talk about clutch plays, this would be a time for Deliverance's defense to step up. Guys, don't forget, we have so much action coming up here on EA Madden NFL Twitch and YouTube on the ESPN app. It is quarterfinals, followed by semifinals. Finally, we get to hand out this belt, TD. <laughs> I've been waiting for it. It's been sitting behind me all day. Yeah, I know. Nice looking belt, huh? And I, when I talked to Wesley yesterday, I said, hey man, I really prefer the Joe Rice nickname. What's with the name change? And he said, look, if I win a belt with Wesley, this name is gonna stick forever. Um, that's my motivation for it. Car, look into the corner out. Can Deliverance oh, get there? Oh, oh my he cannot! Come on, it's 21 7. You're really gonna give him that, bro. That's X in everything, man. You can't do that to me at this point, man. That's how you know it's gotten bad when you're begging fight, for bro. some breaks. Yeah, man, you can't be begging for breaks. Bit. You, you, you put yourself on, in this position man. to be down 21 to seven. It's your own fault. You can't be begging for breaks, but very unfortunate play right there for Deliverance. You know, an aggressive catch with that corner out and now a nice halfback dive. Deliverance is in a tough spot. Oh, I cannot believe how badly this game has gone, but he's not out of it yet. 340 and counting. And this is where Wesley's going to go to that ground and pound attack with Raheem Mostert. He's had such a good game. Not a lot of room up the middle, but he'll still pick up two. First timeout taken by Deliverance. Yeah, calls his timeout early with three and a half minutes still to go. A little surprising there, but he wants to get off the field on this, on this set of downs. Third down and two, stretch run outside. Oh, it's close. He'll take a timeout. They're going to call it fourth and short. And guess what? I don't know if Wesley knows where the punter is in the playbook. This is, he is not a conservative play caller. No, 1,000% Wesley's gonna go for this. He's coming out in that gun bunch. You know, I thought he might've stayed in that I form tight. But now if you're Deliverance, this is your, this is your chance right here, man. You gotta stand up for yourself. Flip the bunch to the right side. He's got Mostert on the left hip of Derek Carr. Will he put it in the air? Will he try to? Let Mostert get it on the ground. He's going to drop back to pass. No pressure whatsoever. And just like that, 
Wesley may have sealed himself a spot in the Madden Bowl with this win. You could see deliverance. He said it. Good dot, Wesley. And it really was, you know, he paid his respect to him. And that was the biggest play of the game because now, now the game is really sealed for Wesley. You just got to run this clock out. Really just unbelievable, bro. Unbelievable. So close. Hole, bro. I literally just yeah, so pissed far. away a quarterfinal, bro. Just pissed it away. Unbelievable, man. I was so ready for this, too. Yeah, you see the agony and deliverance because he knows now. Oh this was God. a win and get into the Madden Bowl game. And now, you know, he's in a tough spot. Man. He's going to have to rely on some other things to happen for him. Unfortunate for deliverance. And, you know, phenomenal job by Wesley. He's now secured a spot in that Madden Bowl at the end of the year. Well, and TD, it's interesting talking to the guys in the back in the Snickers Players Lounge because, you know, there's those games where people go, you know, you get some fortunate breaks, some bounces to go your way. This was a game that Wesley was the better player here on the main stage. Yeah, 1,000%. Wesley really dominated this game from the start. You know, he he, he saw the weakness in deliverance. Yay, you know, he, I get the he, point he knew he didn't have run defense. No and he went with this I-form stretch all game, and it or paid off for him. he's just going to end the game here. <laughs> deliverance and not, I won't get the play offense. Yeah, he's like, maybe I'll get, get no the ball. Oh, maybe not. Hold on, it's Wesley. He said, I get no, no more fun out of this. Crush needs to lose. I need everyone to lose to get me into Madden Ball. Please lose. He's doing the math in his yeah, head. Yeah, he's already thinking about it. You can see how much this these games matter to these guys, man. So important. He's already thinking about it. Fourth and six. Hey, all the time in the world. Mingo can't what? make the play. Playmaker up the field. Uh -oh. Picked off. Moreau, nice lurk there for delivery. Had my stats. Had my stats. That's all that is. Stat pattern. Listen, silver linings. You've got a turnover. We need a miracle and another hey, miracle. He, st he still has miracles. life. I mean, if you think side. about it, if he can score quickly and get an onside kick, which is very hard to do. Hey, it could be worse. The game could have been over on that play. Instead, he has some life offensively. He has a chance. It's all you can ask for over the middle. George Kittle with the catch. No timeouts remaining for deliverance. He'll pick up near a first down. Give him nine and three quarters. Yeah, this is going to be extremely difficult with the way deliverance plays offense. Now look at that Montana 40 time. Looking like he was out for a Sunday stroll to pick up breakfast. <laughs> Goes with the spike there to save some time. You know, this is, like I said, extremely difficult. You got to look deep here. You got to try something. You know, you got to even throw it up at this point. It's your only chance. If, if Joe Montana is watching, I didn't mean to disparage your 40 time. I'm sure you're way faster than I am. Second and 10. Left side. George Kittle with the catch. Yeah, that might do it right there. I mean, he's going to get about one more play, maybe two. He's got to score here. Rolling right side. Nice play. Roquan Smith. He's been the defensive MVP for Wesley. He had a couple picks yesterday. He has a pick today ah. and a couple deflections. Yeah. I mean, just Wesley's defense this tournament is what's guided him to this, you know, Final Four now. I mean, just phenomenal defense all tournament. We saw it versus Kiv, here versus Deliverance, two of the better players we have on the circuit. And if he keeps this going, man, that Wesley name might stay because he's getting close to a chance at that belt. This will be Wesley's first time. He's been in the Madden Challenge so many times, but his first time into the semifinals. Fourth and three, pressure up the middle. Down goes Montana. Put your GGs in the chat. 